In today's video, we will look into one of the questions asked in Gauss contest for grade 7 in the year 2017. So let's go. Let me read the question. 1 A B C D E is a 6 digit number. Each letter represents a digit. Given that 1 A B C D E times 3 is equal to A B C D E 1, the value of A plus B plus C plus D plus E is what? Alright, for those who want to try this question on your own, please pause the video right here to try. Others, please continue watching. Alright, let me represent the question like this in an easy format. We know this is the six digit number which is 1 A B C D E and they say when you multiply this six digit number by 3, you get this result A B C D E 1. Alright, so I have represented the now let's zoom the same and let's find out the letters. We need to find these letters A, B, C, D and E. Alright, so let's start. We always start the multiplication from right to left. Alright, so we start with the ones digit which is E. So E multiplied by 3 gives a number that ends in 1. So when you look at this 3 times table you can obviously say that it is 7. So 7 times 3 ends in 1 which is 21. Alright. So I am going to assume this E as 7. If I assume this E to be 7 then I can see there is another E in the answer as well. So this should also be 7. Fine. Alright, so I have represented the 7 in the answer as well for E and I have um, uh, noted it here as well, fine. Okay, now let's uh, start multiplying. So 7 times 3 is 21, alright. So 1 is there, so which means you move 2 to the carryover. So I will represent the 2 as a carryover like this. Now we move to the next digit here D times D times 3 and a 2 added to that gives a number ends in 7 all right so as you can see here in the expression so d times 3 and a 2 will end in a number with the unit digit 7 all right so if you want to find d times 3 you can reduce the 2 from uh, the number ending in 7 so it will become a number ending in 5 since 7 minus 2 is 5. So basically d times 3 ends in a number with 5 alright. So it is obvious that it is 5 times 3 you get a number that ends in 5 alright. So let me assume d to be 5. So if this is 5 then there is a d in the result as well so this should also be 5. So I am going to change both these D and I am going to assume this to be 5. Alright, let us start the multiplication again. 7 times 3 is 21, 1 is there and 2 is carried over. Now 5 times 3 is 15 and then you add the 2 so that it becomes 17. So that you put a 7 here which is exactly the same and then 1 is carried over. The C times 3 with the carryover 1 added to it you get a number ends in 5. So let me represent the same as an expression here. Alright, I have represented the expression like this C times 3 and the 1 added to it you get a number that ends in 5. Alright, so this is what is here. So if C times 3 you just move the uh, reduce the 1 from the result so that you get a number that ends in 4. So 1 times 3 that uh, gives a number ending in 4 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24, right? So assume C to be 8. So I am going to substitute C as 8 in both the number and the answer and I am going to note it here. Alright, let us continue with the multiplication. 8 times 3 is 24 and then the carry over is 1. So it becomes 25, alright? So I have put the 5 here and the 2 is carried over. Alright, now you have the carry. Now let us move on to the next digit which is B. B times 3 
and the 2 carried over will give a number ending in 8 and this is what I have represented here b times 3 with the 2 carried over will give a number ending in 8. So, when you move the uh, 2 to the other side the number ending in 8 will be ending in 6 since you reduce the 2 alright. So, what times 3 gives a number ending in 6. So, when you carefully look in the 3 times table you have only 2 times 3 ending in 6. So, I assume b to be 2 alright. So, I have a b here as well as in the result. So, I am going to substitute b as 2 and I am going to note down here as well alright. Let us continue with the multiplication. We Since we assume b to be 2, 2 times 3 is 6 and then when you add this uh, 2 carried over it becomes 8 which is here fine. Okay, now let us move on to the next digit which is a. a times 3 gives a number ending in 2. I have assumed a to be 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So, I have mentioned 2 here and 1 will be carried over. So, I am going to put 1 here alright. Now, let us move to the last digit which is 1. 1 times 3 is 3 and the carried over 1 is added so it becomes 4 which is here. So, we have got the uh, digits so I am going to mention a to be 4 as well. Ok, let us try uh, rep it is time to check this multiplication and uh, confirm whether these numbers are right alright. So, 7 times 3 is 21 so 1 is here and 2 is carried over. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. So, I put the 7 down and 1 is carried over. C times 8 times 3, 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 25, 5 is there and 2 is carried over. 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 and the 2 is 8 and there is no carry over. Now, 4 times 3 is 12. So, I put the 2 and 1 is carried over. Now, 1 times 3 is 3 and the carried over 1 you add to it you get 4. So, the multiplication is perfect. So, and we have got these answers. We have found out the value of these letters which is 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. So, the next st step is to add these letters that is add these numbers to find out the answer to the question. Alright, we need to find the sum of these letters. So, I have substituted the numbers here. A is 4, B is 2, C is 8, D is 5 and E is 7 and when you add all these numbers together you get the answer to be 26. Alright, so 26 is the answer for the question. Thanks for watching.